Hello and welcome to part two of how to get an actuarial internship. Nailing the interview. Well, let's get started. First, find the questions that they are going to ask you. Look on the company's website and just Google things like actuarial interview questions. You should be prepared for the following types of questions. Introductory questions, behavioral questions, company specific questions, industry specific questions, questions about recent stories in the news, analytical questions, and brain teasers. Once you've compiled a list of all of the questions, type out your answers, at least in bullet points, if you don't want to type out your responses word for word. If your first round is a phone interview, amazing, you can just read your answers. However, I think you should still practice vocalizing your answers. There are three reasons for this. One, it will make them sound more natural. Two, it will also help you get a better sense of how long each answer takes you. Depending on the question, responses can be between 30 seconds and about two and a half minutes. The last reason is because while you are on the phone, you might not have the time to find your perfectly typed out answer to why you're a good team sport in your giant 17 page Word document with all of your perfect responses. For this reason, you should be comfortable answering all of the questions without a script. I would still recommend having your Word document open though as a security blanket. The next tip I have is that you should practice a lot. Even if this is a phone interview, it is really good to practice in front of a mirror. This is good practice because you get real time feedback you get to look at your body language. However, the only issue with practicing in front of a mirror is that you will not see when you look away to the side or look up or look down because when you're looking to the side, you won't be looking at the mirror so you won't see it. I realized this when I had been practicing in the mirror for a while and I thought I had amazing eye contact but then I was practicing with a friend and they told me I kept looking to the side and down. I think another great way to practice is with a video camera. With a video camera you're not going to run into the side eye mirror issue. For me, I think I've gotten a lot better at speaking and articulating my ideas clearly because I've created so many YouTube videos and I've spent a lot of time watching myself on camera and editing myself. When you videotape yourself, you will start to notice all the times you have run on sentences, incorrect grammar, ums, and awkward silences. So as uncomfortable as it is to record yourself and then watch it back, it's really helpful. It's also really helpful to practice with another human being. Practice with a friend, a parent, a sibling, anyone. It teaches you to react to their body language while you're trying to articulate your ideas. It's also good for practicing eye contact because making eye contact with yourself in the mirror is a very different skill than making eye contact with a real human being. So now I'm going to talk about how to tackle these specific types of questions that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. For the introductory questions, there are two types. Tell me about yourself and walk me through your resume. You have about two minutes for these, in my opinion. Other people will disagree, but I found that this length works for me. You should be able to recite your responses to these two questions in your sleep because they are so common and will be the first impression that you make on your interviewer. They seem like the easiest questions because they're just questions about yourself, but I think they can be very hard. I feel like I know myself and my resume very well, but being able to articulate clearly and concisely under pressure can be tough. It's really easy to ramble also because you can fit so much information on a resume and they just want the highlights. Speaking of your resume, make sure you know every inch about your resume and be prepared to defend any point. Expect to get follow-up questions about the things that you list on your resume. Next type of question you will get is a behavioral question. These are for the employer to get a sense of your personality and gauge whether or not you would be a good fit for the company. They almost always start with, tell me about a time when. Popular behavioral questions include, tell me about a time when you worked on a team. Tell me about a time when you were challenged. Tell me about an analytical problem you solved. What are your three greatest strengths? What are your three weaknesses? Why are you interested in a career in this field? You can also expect company specific questions. These are so the employer can gauge your interest in the role by testing your knowledge about the company. Questions in this category can include Why do you want to work at our company? What skills and qualities do you think you can bring to the team? 
what interests you about our specific internship program. You may also get some industry specific questions, though these are less common in interviews for actuarial internships. Be familiar with common insurance terms and current industry trends. Also make sure to prepare for questions about recent stories in the news. These are also not very common in actuarial interviews, but you should have a good idea of what is going on in the news currently, even if it's not directly related to insurance. Even if they don't ask news specific questions, you may be able to tie it into an answer to another question, which can really impress the interviewer. You can also expect analytical questions, though these are tough to prepare for. You may get a chart or graph and asked a few questions about the information. You may be asked to hypothesize explanations for trends in the data, for example. Brain teasers are also really tough to prepare for, but you should Google questions that are commonly asked by the company that you will be interviewing with. For brain teasers, the interviewers are not very concerned about whether or not your answer is correct. There are a lot of times multiple correct answers to brain teasers. They're more interested in whether or not you can think logically and articulate your thought process as you try to solve problems. Those are all my tips about doing well in actuarial interviews. If this was helpful, please like. Also, check out my other videos about math and subscribe for more college-related videos. Let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see next. My channel is obviously super small, so I can very easily accommodate any video requests. That is it for today. Thanks for watching and good luck in your interview.